Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. How are you today? Very good, teacher, and you? Nice, I'm doing great. Thank you very much for asking. I'm very happy to be here with all of you in this new day. Hello, Mr. Nelson, Natalie, Marbelli, Daisy, Iris, Carlitos, Saul. Welcome to your class. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, so tell me, how was your day? Was it nice? Was it stressful? Was it difficult? How was it? How was your day today? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Uh, my day, it was a little difficult because I was, <laughs> I am a little sick uh -huh. because I had the flu. Oh. So, uh, yeah, you sound very sick. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> For that reason, I will not be able to open my camera. Okay. Uh, this evening, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think you, you sound very bad. I'm crying, bad. yeah, I'm crying. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, that's, that's like the bad part of the flu, right? That it's very complicated and you are like, just like suffering and cleaning a lot. <laughs> and so it is pretty uncomfortable. Okay, thank you, Saul, for sharing. Uh, about your day right and sharing about your illness right that you are feeling bad today good someone else how was your day today uh -huh. if not i will start choosing people <laughs> how was your day today Nelson, tell us about your day. Uh, my day was very hard in the work. Oh, really? Why? Yes, yes. But um, I am here. I am ready. That's the important part, right? Even when the day is difficult, even when the day is hard, we are here and we are studying. Very good. What about you, Daisy? How was your day? My day is stressful. Really? Why? Because more homework. Oh, really? A lot of homework? Oh, my goodness. Yes. And uh, so for sure, you need to do it. Or did you finish already? Uh, yes, finish. You finish your your homework already. Okay, good. Very good. So let me see. What about uh, Carlo Fernando? How was your day? My day is fine and um, so good. Okay, your day was fine, right? That's really good. What about you, Natalie? How was your day? Good evening. Hello, good evening, Byron. Natalie Geraldine, how was your day? I think Nati is not there near the microphone. Well, something important, my dear students, is, uh, well, today in the morning, we were informed that uh, we need to have the complete name in the platform. Thank you very much, because you all have your name, uh, your complete name. So let's keep it like that. That is like a very important part of this, because when people uh, check in the morning all the list of attendance, uh, it has to be your complete name because that is in a force uh, rule, right? So thank you very much for having it like that, right? And I think it is a complete the complete name, the two names and the two last names. So thank you very much for having it like that. Christina, how was your day? Good evening. Hi. Okay, my day was cool. I have been spending some time with my family and 
taking some rest. Oh, that's so nice, right? To rest a little bit, to stop and to share with family. That is really good, right? It is really good that you can take this moment, right? For you to rest a little bit and share with your family. And last but not least, let's see, we're going to ask Patricia Veronica, how was your day? Patricia, how was your day? I cannot listen to you, Patricia. Maybe it's because of your microphone. Eh, Tiene audífonos, Patty. Sí, entonces quizás desconectelos e intente, eh, intente ocuparlos sin los audífonos. Para ver si no es la plataforma de Zoom. Ajá, ahí cuando los desconectó creo que sí se le activó el audio. Inténtelo de nuevo, porfa. Desconecte los audífonos y deje el audio del teléfono. No, it doesn't work. No, no le escucho. Tal vez eh, podamos ahí revisarlo, si no le damos este, a las configuraciones de audio para revisarlo y que no le falle en la clase. Ok. Sorry, Patty. Well, welcome to all the rest. Welcome, Mr. Elmer. Yes, please. You can you can restart and maybe that is going to fix your audio. Okay, welcome to all the ones that are just connecting. And for sure, it is a big pleasure to have you here. Remember that yesterday we started working with a little bit on the presentations, right? We started working on uh, important information about you, your student's profile, right? And I told you that the first thing that we were going to do in class was going to present yourself and to complete this a little bit and what we started yesterday, right? We started this yesterday and we are going to complete it today. And I'm going to give the chance to some of you or many of you to introduce yourselves, right? Remember the information that you are going to be using. It is very important, right? It, about you and what you do, for sure, your English journey, what do you enjoy the most, something that you cannot stand, something that uh, you do to practice and something that you need to improve, okay? I am going to be taking notes of your presentations and I am going to help you with some corrections later on, okay? So we are going to work on that right now. If you have any, I mean, any question before we start, you can do it, or if you want to be the first one, you can tell me, teacher, I want to present the first one. I want to be the first one talking, right? You can also do it, right? Remember that you are going to introduce yourself using the guide that I gave you yesterday, and you are going to talk about yourself, right? There is not that much to investigate because it's about you, right? So, I am going to stop sharing so uh, all of you can start presenting. Who wants to be the first one presenting? ¿Quién quiere presentarse? El número uno. And then the rest is, it's añadidura, they say. Aha, five, four, three, two, one, no volunteers. Ah, Saúl, ah, saving the day. <laughs> Go ahead, Saúl. Hey, okay, teacher, good evening. Um, Hi. <coughs> uh, my name is Saúl Arnulfo Menjibar Crispin. Um, I live in Chalatenango. I'm 25 years old. Uh, I like to play soccer. And also I like to, to learn new language. For example, English, French. Um, I don't know. I think it's all. Okay. What do you do to practice your English? Remember that these are the type of questions. These are the information that we are going to be completing. Uh, you told me what you enjoy. You told me what you like. Uh, what do you do to practice English? Well, and uh, uh, I like to practice uh, with my friends. Uh, we had a conversation and we we do the homeworks together. 
Okay. And that way we can improve our language. Okay, perfect. And uh, uh, what do you need to improve? Uh, I think that the pronunciation for me that is a thing very difficult. But I think that if we practice a lot, uh, we can we can achieve all our goals. Very good job. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for sharing. A clap for your friend. There you go. Yay. Reactions for your friend. Very good. Reactions. Very nice. Thank you very much. Great job. Now let's go with Natalie. Go ahead. Hello, good evening. My name is Madame Flores and I am a student. My English journey began like 11 years ago. I think I was very little when I started learning English by myself. With the things that I could investigate or ask to my dad and listening to English music and series and, and watching movies in English. What I enjoy the most is going out with friends or with family and visiting places. And I cannot stand the people that is like, oh, I'm good vibes, but is the it's completely opposite. It's not 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 good vibes at all. Okay. To practice, I listen to music every day and watch. TV series and movies in English, the audio in English, and if it's possible, the subtitles in English too. Okay, very and nice. Uh -huh. I think I need to improve my reading, but reading out loud because it's a little bit difficult to read. <laughs> okay, and I also <laughs> really? need to improve my pronunciation and my grammar. That's all. Okay, Nati, thank you very much for your presentation. Thank you very much for explaining us the things that you do, the things that you like, and the things that you need to improve. Thank you very, very much. Nice presentation. Daisy, go ahead. Hello, good evening. Hi. My name is Daisy Hernandez. I am international relations student. I started to formally study English two years ago. Um, I enjoy reading the book and mangas. Uh, I can stand the irresponsibility. Uh, I practice my English with listening to music in English, and I sometimes I watch videos in English. And I need to improve my vocabulary and my pronunciation and the time I devote to learning English. Okay, very good, right? You are devoting this time to learn English. Thank you, Daisy, very nice. Mr. Elmer, go ahead. Good evening, everybody. Hi. Hi, teacher. My name is Elmer Salas. I am a coach. I work in Ministerio de Hacienda. Uh, I English Journal since 2021. 20, I enjoy read the book in my free time. And I practice watch video in English. And I need to speak too much English. Okay, very okay. good. Okay. Very nice, right? You need to speak too much. You are in the correct place. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Elmer. Nice presentation. Very good job. Ana Julia, go ahead. Ana Julita, creo que eso nos levantó. Byron, go ahead and then Ana Julia. 
Okay, good evening. I am Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. I am studying English. <clears throat> I practice my English, need listening to music in English and watching videos in English. I need to improve my pronunciation. It's all. Okay, you need to improve, improve, right? Your pronunciation. Yes. Thank you, Byron. Very good job. Yes. Who's next? Thanks. Because Anita is not here. Back. Uh, uh, Anita, there evening. you are there. Hi, go ahead. Good evening. Good evening. Um, my name is Julia Mayor. I live in San Salvador with my family. Um, I work in a bank. English is difficult for me, but it's a challenge. Mm, I really enjoy watch TV uh, series, um, listen to music is very, very good. I don't like being late for appointments. It's horrible for me. Yeah, me too. I, I like I, um, I like movies in English. Is um, I need to study more, more, more. <laughs> okay, very good. Read, uh -huh. read book in English is important. Yes, it is indeed. It is very important because it helps you to improve your vocabulary and your pronunciation as well, right? As well as your grammar. Thank you, Ana Julia, very much. Thank you, thank you. Very nice presentation. Cristina, go ahead. Okay. Good evening again. Hello. Um, my name is Cristina Quintanilla. I am 25 years old and I live in San Miguel City. I have been studying English for two years and what I enjoy the most is going out with my friends. What I cannot stand is people who don't like to help others in their learning. And what I do to practice is listening to music and I need to improve my listening and reading. Okay, very good job. Nice pronunciation, Cristina. Very beautiful presentation. Excellent job. Okay, you need to improve your listening. That's so nice. Okay, who's next? Now I don't have more hands up. Volunteer. Uh huh. It is. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. Hi. My name is Iris Rosario Hernandez. I am a moral and culture teacher. I live in Soyapango. I start to know the color and number and basic uh, grading with a friend in 2015. But last year, I found the opportunity to study the with corporate English. Uh, what I like the most is watching a movie, a movie or painting. Uh, who try to lay uh, to my and repeat vocabulary uh, all in English. Uh, more time practice, uh, more vocabulary in learning the structure and the form sentence is difficult for me to speak. Thank you. Okay, it is difficult for you to speak. Well, I am going to help you to practice your speaking every day. So uh, thank you very much for sharing, Iris. Thank you very much. Mr. René, go ahead. Hey, good evening. Hi. My name is René David Calderon Peñate and I am starting English right now. And I started speaking or study English in, in, in the school. And I have always uh, have problems with uh, my confidence uh, when I speak. And I don't like when I when I I can find the correct words 
in in English to to express uh, what I what I want to 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 say. And I I try to practice English uh, when I watch the movies in English and when I speak with other with other persons. And and I watch videos in 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 social media. And yeah, I I. I think that I need to improve my pronunciation and my listening. Okay, so that's good to work on your confidence at the moment of speaking. And you know yeah. what is curious? <laughs> that you have a very good uh, pronunciation. You have a very good uh, uh, way of speaking. You have a very good tone of voice at the moment of speaking in English. And in many of the cases we say, no, 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 it's because I can't. And you are doing it good. So we need to work a little bit more on the confidence, believing that sí. you can actually do the things, right? Hay muchas Thank veces you. que decimos, no, es que a mí no me sale, a que le sale más bonito. Y cuando lo hacemos, lo hacemos bien. So it's like, what's going on, right? So eh, it is good. So René David, very good job. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Patricia, let's try the audio to see if it works. Mm, no, buddy, I cannot listen to you. <laughs> Estamos peleando con el audio. Okay, si no no funciona, envíemelo en un audio, en WhatsApp. Okay, don't worry. Let's go with Oscar, please. Good evening. Hello, good evening. My name is Oscar Guardado. I am 44 years old. I am married since 2009. I have uh, two children, a little girl. He is four years old and a boy. He is one year, uh, nine years old. I enjoy spending time with, with them. Uh, uh, try uh, travel with them too and play uh, uh, a, 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 a lot with them too. Uh, I I practice English uh, with uh, with the computer, listen listen watching video in YouTube, watching movie too, and I. I talk with with my sister who is in the U USA. Okay, good. Like me, she don't she doesn't have enough time, but I try to practice with with her, and I need to improve uh, to improve my pronunciation, uh, uh, grammar. And the and on the the pronounce the yes to and, and the fluency the fluency fluency fluency, fluency. okay you're that fluent mm -hmm. thank you very much Oscar you're very welcome. good job it is nice that you have the chance to practice with someone in the United States because they have a different accent they have a different tone so even if it is a little moment on the day take advantage of that. Yes. Very good. Thank you very much. Sara, go ahead. Good evening. Hi. My name is Sara. And I live in Santa Ana. I work in as auditor for the administration to the Ministry of Hacienda. Okay. And my English journey is quite difficult, <laughs> very, very difficult <laughs> uh, for me to understand and speak English. And uh, I enjoy going for work with my friends. Um, um, what do you, what do I do to pray? I listen to music in English and see video or, or watch video, no se, se dice, 
Eh, watch videos. Watch, watch video. Eh, what do I need to improve it? Uh, I have learned more vocabulary and speak it. Okay. <laughs> okay, very good. So I am going to work on that, right? I am going to work on that for you to have the chance to actually Im continue improving, right? What you uh, what you mentioned, right? Even if it is difficult, the journey of English, yes, we need to work on that because it is going to be very helpful later on. Good, Carlitos, go ahead. Good evening. Hi. Uh, I am Carlos Fernando. I am 22 years old. I live in San Miguel. Uh, I would like to travel to Peru. Uh, I know the most is the new meat place. I cannot understand in the traffic. Uh, I am practicing English in watch videos or movies in English. Uh, I need to improve my vocabulary and my pronunciation. Okay, your vocabulary and your pronunciation. Thank you, Carlos, for sharing. Very good job. Let's go with Giselle. Hello, Giselle. Okay, okay. Maybe she has the same problem of Patty. Marlon? Marlon Ernesto. Go ahead. My God, I have a lot of audios broken. <laughs> hello, hello. Marloncito, can you listen to me? Yes, I can listen to you. <laughs> okay, Marlon, if you have issues with the audio, please send it to me on the WhatsApp group, please. Elizabeth, go ahead. Uh, good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening, guys. Hello, hello. I'm, I'm glad to see you. <laughs> okay, my name is Elizabeth Mejia. I live in San Salvador. I am a content. And my experience with English language has been very pleasant. I start a year and a half of the learning with English Corporativo, and I really like the classes. And I enjoy uh, something, something like uh, I really enjoy seeing, dance, practice uh, sport, and travel in other countries, etc. And I can stand, I don't like work under pressure, and I don't like uh, hard traffic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't um, like it either. In the morning when I go to the, go to the office yeah. and um, I practice English uh, with uh, watch I watch videos and convert the about conversation. Uh, but I need to improve uh, the listening and I consider it's hard for me to understand. <laughs> okay, listening, <laughs> listening and understanding. It is good. 
right? And later on, I am going to tell you why am I doing this, right? But it's good. Thank you very much for sharing. It is very important for me to know all these details. Thank you, Elizabeth. Marbelli, go ahead. Miss Marbelli. Good evening. Hello. Everybody. Hello. Good evening. Hello, hello. Uh, my name. Me escucha, teacher. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, my name is Marbelli Aleman de Santos. I live in La Union. Uh, I like the English class, but I have a big problem because I am not practicing English. Ah. <laughs> As a child, the, there are times um, I listen to music in English, but I think I need to listen more and practice much more. Okay, good. What is something that you what is something that you need to improve up besides the listening the listening pronunciation what else uh -huh. pronunciation pronunciation uh, the listening and the listening okay pronunciation and listening yeah. thank you thank you very much marbelli for sharing that with me it is very useful for me manuel alejandro go ahead Mr. Manuel, or if not, I can have Miss Damaris. I, go ahead. Ah, there you go, Manuel. I can listen to you now. Sorry, I was eating. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> sorry. Um, hi, my name is Manuel Alejandro Variajarse. I'm 22 years old. Um, what are the the thing that I enjoy the most, uh, I would say, um, I love watching movies in English. I I really love that, and <laughs> maybe sing a song on English. And what I do to practice is one thing could say be here and practice. Out loud with myself, okay. with with uh, uh, lyrics of a song or a, or a, I don't know a, a book. Okay, very um, good. That's a very good tip. Uh huh. What I need to improve is is practice because practice makes perfect. Definitely. So when Manuel says, like, when you get the lyrics of a song and when you get a book and then you practice out loud, that is a very good way to improve your pronunciation, right? And then you check if it's correct. If you have questions about words, you check them out and it helps a lot. Thank you very much, Manuel, for sharing. Uh, Damaris, go ahead. Good evening. Hi. Hi. My name is Damaris Menari Marroquín Rivas, and I do my daily basic is work in a daycare center. Okay. My, job, my journal in English begin as school after knowing how valuable this language is enrolled in English Corporativo, and here I am hoping to learn more every day. Enjoy the most about the language is that I can understand others. The day will also come when I can watch series and programs with having to read the subtitles when I can now stay in begin interrupted when I practice on begin stating because I haven't pronunciation the words correctly. <laughs> When I do practice is uh, with my sister, practicing a application, do the exercise on the platform, listen to music and watch videos in English. I need to improve, learn more vocabulary, not confuse the words that work 
pronunciation is similar, okay. learn to build in sentence better. Okay, to build to build in sentences better. Good, Damaris, right? You have a lot of goals, you have a lot of things that you want to achieve with the language and that is very good, right? It is really good to have the goals set. And if you keep working on that, you say the day will come. You say that when you are going to do all these things, for sure, you are going to make it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Damaris. Sandra, and then Nelson. Hello, good evening. Hello. Um, my name is Sandra Janet. I live in Soyapango with my family. I study in university UDB. Um, I am 33 years old. I enjoy watch movies and listen music. Uh, I can stand the reggaeton. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, I practice English with my nephew because he study English too. Okay. And I need to improve the listening and grammar, uh, grammar and vocabulary because it's very difficult for me. And, but I love English. Okay, that's really nice. The good thing is that you like it, right? That is the most important part, right? If you like the language, you are going to do all that is at hand for you to practice. Thank you very much, Sandrita. Nelson, go ahead. And then Emma. Okay, good evening. Hi. Everyone, I will say the short version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, the short one, please. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. My name is Nelson Melgar. I live in Aguilar City. And what I do, I work and study English. My English journey is really challenging because I easily forget words and phrases. But what I enjoy the most in the pain, in constant learning with you. Okay, good. And what I can stand is not having much time to dedicate to English. I do to practice is only listening to music in English, 70s, and 80s. Okay, good music. I need to improve pronunciation, listening, reading, writing, vocabulary, and more. Okay, good. Thank you, Nelson. Yeah, okay. you are in the correct okay. place. I mean, you are here okay. to help. And that is why I am doing this for you to expose yourself and to actually force yourself to practice a little bit. Thank you, Nelson, for sharing. Very good job. Emma, go ahead. And the last one is, will be Pablo. Hello, thank you. Very Hello, much. yes. Okay, I am a Korea. I live in Laona. Uh, my English journey started 10 years ago when I college finished. It's very soon class one year ago. What I can understand, I can understand it with friends conversation because I get confused. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do to practice? I practice the listening and singing English music and read a little. And what do I need to improve? I need to read, listen, my vocabulary and talk. Thank you. Okay, very good job. Excellent, Emma. Thank you very much for sharing, right? You have a lot in common, right? You need to practice your speaking, right? You need to practice your vocabulary. So it is like, I, I need to keep that in mind. Thank you very much. Okay, Pablo, please. Hey. Hello, good evening. <clears throat> uh, my name is uh, Pablo Reyes Pineda. I live in uh, Santa Ana City. Uh, my uh, work is um, lawyers. Um, I enjoy the most uh, is travel travelers and uh, play soccer. Um, 
han rid. Um, 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 practice to English, um, um, watch series, TV, and English, and listen music. Okay. Um, um, I need to improve is uh, practice pronunci pronunciation and, and, and vocabulary and read uh, and more. Okay. Thank you very much, Pablo. Very good job. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. In general, you see, all of you explain your profile, what you need to do, right? The things that you like, the things that you enjoy, right? And I have taken notes, right? I took a lot of notes about all of you, about what you need to do, what you need to improve. The first thing that we are going to work is the word improve, right? Improve. Practice with me. Improve. 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 improve right? Improve. 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 Improve, that is the improve, first thing that improve. you need to work, right? You say, what I need to improve. No, you say improve. What I need to improve, improve. is my pronunciation. You say my pronunciation. Another one, my language, right? The English language, the English language. And another word, you say, I really enjoy, I really enjoy, you say, to watch movies. I really enjoyed watching movies, right? I really enjoy reading books. I really enjoyed listening to music, right? That is something important. When you say, I am an accountant. I have many accountants here, right? I am an accountant. You say, I am an accountant. I am an accountant. Practice with me, everybody, even if you are not an accountant, right? I am an accountant. I am an accountant. I am an accountant. I am an accountant. There you go. I am an accountant. Very good. The next one. It's a challenge. You say it's a challenge. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. Okay. People are. Remember when you say I don't like people who is. No. People are, right? That is a People basic thing. Are. People, are. Are. People are. The next People one. People are. are. Uh, you say, my grammar, my listening, my reading, right? My grammar, my listening, my reading. And since I have been studying English since I was 10 years old, or I have been studying English since 2021. I have been studying English since... Uh, 2020, for example. But when you are going to give me a period of time, you say, I am, I have been studying English for two years. I have been studying English for a year, you can say. Okay, so that is important. And I am going to be working on the different sections of your needs, right? I am going to be sending you ex um, exercises to practice listening, to practice reading, to practice pronunciation, to practice grammar, right? And to practice speaking. So I am going to try to cover all the different needs of my group. That's why I do this, okay? Siempre, con todos mis grupos, me gusta tomarme este momento de la clase. ¿Para qué? Para conocer las necesidades que cada uno de ustedes tienen. Así veo cómo les puedo ir ayudando a todos en este momento period of time we have together, okay? So I try to do it and I try, I will try to cover all the different necessities that you have along with the language, okay? So thank you very, very much for opening yourself to this little practice and for sharing the things that you consider important uh, to improve. Well, let's move on business now. I am going to share my screen with all of you and here on our book, right? This is our manual. I hope that you have downloaded it. And here in the first part of it, we have the topic of, there you go. Hey, ¿qué pasa? <laughs> there you go. Ay, come on. It's playing with me. I will move it like this. 
Okay. In the first part, you have famous landmarks. Do you know what is the meaning of landmark? What is the meaning of landmark? Como punto de referencia. Punto de referencia, right? What is a common landmark of El Salvador? What is a common landmark of El Salvador? Salvador, the monument the of Salvador of work. This, uh, the Salvador del Mundo, right? The holy savior of the world, right? Salvador del Mundo, it's a landmark that we know and we identify in a very easy way. And you say, where do you live? Well, do you know Salvador del Mundo? Near there, right? That is a famous landmark that we have. Another landmark that we have in our country, people? That you say like, ah, yeah, everybody knows that one. Metro, Metro Centro. Centro. <laughs> for sure, right? That is a very famous landmark for us, right? And it says like, where do we meet? Donde nos juntamos? And you say, in Metro Centro, because everybody knows that. And if you are on the other side near Santa Tecla, you say, in Multiplaza, right? Because everybody knows that place. If you go, for example, to Santa Ana, what is a very famous landmark in Santa Ana? Metro Centro, too. The cathedral. Metro Centro and the cathedral, right? The cathedral. The cathedral. The cathedral is a very iconic place, right? You find it there and you say, like, ah, yeah, I know it. If you go, for example, to uh, La Libertad or the area of the beach, what is a famous landmark that we have there? Port. La Libertad Port. The, the port, port, right? The port. Another one? And, and the Surf City. Surf City, right? The Tunco Beach, right? The Tunco Beach is a famous landmark that we have there because everybody wants to go there and everybody knows it. Good. If you go in the area of San Miguel in La Unión, do you have any specific landmark there? I have people here from, from that part of the country. Veamos. It's the Triangle. The triangle, where is it? Yeah. It's in the I I I I don't I don't I don't do to ubicate it, but I I I know this place and it's okay. it's famous. It's, it's famous. It's, it's near to to military routes. Okay, it's near the military route going on the way to uh, San Miguel, I guess. So those are specific landmarks, right? Specific places that we can get to see and we can get to identify. In the world, we have many, many different ones. For example, here we have the Great Wall of China. And what, what information do we have about it? Can you tell me the information we have about the Great Wall of China? I have it right here. Okay, here, can you help me to read it, please? Yes, me. Go ahead. The Great Wall of China was begun in 214 before, 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 Christ. before, Christ, before Christ. It is the largest structure uh, ever built. Okay, it was begun, right? It was it begun, begun in begun. 2014, right? Fue iniciada o se inició su construcción. It was begun, right? In 2014, before Christ, right? What about the Colosseum in Rome? The Colosseum. The Colosseum in Rome was opened in... 80. 80. It was sometimes filled with water for ship bottles. It was filled up with water for ship bottles, right? Imagine the, the usage of the Coliseum, right? To put the, the ships in the middle to fight. So it was open, right? It was open. Fue abierto, right? It was opened. What about the next one? We have the Taj Mahal in India. Me, Taj teacher. Go ahead. <clears throat> the Taj Mahal in India was built between 1630 and 
1652, it is a thumb for the wife of an Indian prince. Okay, it is a thumb. It is a thumb for the thumb wife of wife. an Indian prince. Yeah, prince. Good. It was built. Fue built. construido, right? It was built. It was built. The Taj Mahal in India was built between 1630 and 1652. So, did you know that it was a thumb? Sabían que era una tumba? This one? Yes? No? Yes. 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 What about the Statue of Liberty in New York? The Statue of Liberty in New York was opened in 1886. It was a gift to America from the people of France. Okay, it was a gift, right? It was a gift to Americans from the people of France, right? The Statue of Liberty was open. It was open, right? Fue abierta, fue inaugurada. It was open in 1886, right? Ooh many years ago right what about the Eiffel Tower what do you what can you tell me about the Eiffel Tower anybody go ahead the Paris was completed in 1889 it was built for the 100th anniversary of the French Revolution very good job, right? The Eiffel Tower was completed, right? Fue completada. It was completed in 1889. It was built for the 100th anniversary of the French Revolution. Good job. So, as you can see here, we have different places, right? Do you know when uh, Salvador del Mundo was uh, created or built? No idea? I don't have an idea. You don't have an idea. Well, we can do a little bit of research on that, maybe for tomorrow's class. When did they uh, build the cathedral, for example? When did they, um, I don't know, open Metro Centro? We can do a little bit of research about it. Okay? Esa va a ser la tarea que les voy a dejar para mañana. Busquen un lugar icónico del Salvador e investiguenlo. Cuando lo, cuando lo inauguraron, cuando se abrió, cuando lo hicieron, right? Then bring it to the class tomorrow. So you can bring me a detail, exactly like the ones that we are sharing right here. That will be the little homework for tomorrow. And in this one, have you ever had the chance to see these uh, landmarks in the world? Have you ever had the chance to see the landmarks? ¿Han tenido la oportunidad de ver algún, alguna landmark icónica? Si no estas, pues alguna otra de algún país. No, never. Ay, teacher. Ajá, which one? Which one, Pablo? Uh, the Statue of Liberty. Oh, really? The Statue of Liberty. Yes. So you have traveled to, is it New York, right? Yes. Um, uh, hace algunos años, como se dice. Uh, Some years ago. Some years ago. Some years ago. Okay. Yes. Any other one who has had the chance to see any like iconic landmark? I had the chance to be in Washington and I saw all the landmarks in Washington, the White House, the Capitol. Uh, right. A different, different in the Peñol, Peñol uh -huh. is in Medellin. Oh, uh -huh. yes. In it's, Colombia. Ah, uh, yes. In Medellin, yes, right? That's, an, that's another iconic place, right? Very good. And for the ones that we have in El Salvador, which is your favorite? De los no. que tenemos aquí, locales. Which is your favorite? Or don't you have a favorite landmark? 
I love the beach. That is. Ruina del Tazumal. El Tazumal, for sure. My city, right? Mi ciudad, icónica. El Tazumal. I love El Tazumal. It's one of my favorite places to go. Okay. Before anything else happens, I am going to call the attendance, okay? I am going to call the attendance before. Okay, okay, okay. ¿Te puede pasar lista antes de continuar con la siguiente parte del ejercicio? And, okay. I am going to call your names. Remember, when you listen to me, say here or present. Ana Julia? Present. Thank you. Byron? Present. Brian Eduardo? Present, teacher. Thank you, Byron. Brian Eduardo? Carlos Fernando? I'm here. Thank you. Cristina Abigail. I'm here. Damaris Merari. Present teacher. Thank you. Daisy Magdalena. Present teacher. Excellent. Elizabeth del Carmen. Present teacher. Elmer Mauricio. I'm here teacher. Elvia Sofia. Emma Jamilet. Present. Thank you. Giselle Cecilia. Giselle. Uh, Iris Rosario. I am here, teacher. Thank you very much. Manuel Alejandro. Present, teacher. Marbelli. Present, teacher. Marlon Ernesto. Present, teacher. Uh, sorry. Uh, Turn my off uh, microphone, my head. Okay, don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. But you, I, I listen to you, don't worry. Natalie? Present. Thank you very much. Nelson Rolando? Present, teacher. Oscar Eduardo Guardado? Present, teacher. Pablo Reyes Pinea? Present, teacher. Patricia Verónica? Aspati de audio. Sorry. <laughs> eh, René David. Yes, I'm, I'm here. Sandra y Annette. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Sara María. Present, teacher. And Saúl Arnulf. Present, teacher. Thank you very, very, very much. Okay, um, let me see. I am just missing Elvia Sofía and I'm Brian Eduardo. Okay. But those are the ones that I am missing. Good. So for the next class that we have, this, what we did right now, was a little introduction for the topic that we are going to be working on the next class. The topic for our next class is passive voice with B. Don't feel scared about this topic because many people say, oh, no, la passive voice, que no, okay. no, don't feel, don't feel afraid of that, okay? Passive voice is not from like another world or something different. It is uh, kind of an easy topic if you try to understand it. Here, we have the introduction of this one, right? Aquí hicimos una introducción chiquita del tema. When you say, the Great Wall of China was begun, right? It was opened, it was built, it was opened, right? And the passive voice, for example, it's something that you make reference to the doer of this, right? It was open, it was written by, and then you give information about the doer of the action, right? Here we have that it says like the famous statue has welcome visitors, right? It was given, it was designed, right? It, let's see another one. I think for this one, it's just examples that we have here. But we are going to go in deep in the conversation tomorrow. I just wanted to make just this little, little intro for the passive voice with simple pass, right? Here, the French gave the statue to the US. The Statue of Liver was designed by Bartholdi. The statue was given to the US by the French, right? So I am going to go in deep on this tomorrow 
for us to explain a little bit more about the past tense, okay? You have it on your book, you can start checking, and you can do a little bit of research on the internet about the passive voice, right? Here we have a little matching exercise that we are going to be doing in class tomorrow. So we are going to finish with the conversation, we are going to read it, and we are going to finish with that or class today. And it says, we are now approaching the famous Statue of Liberty with what, which has welcomed visitors to New York Harbor since 1886. Wow, look at it. Incredible, isn't it? The statue was given to the United States by the people of France. It was designed by the French sculptor Bartholdi. It's really huge. Do we get to go inside? Of course, we can climb the stairs all the way up to the crown. Stairs? There's no elevator? Not to the top, but it's just 142 steps, right? 142 steps for you to go from the bottom to the crown, right? It is a very interesting thing. Tomorrow we're going to practice the conversation a little bit more. And if you can investigate a bit about passive voice, and read about the topic, it will be perfect, okay? Si se pueden ir a dar una repasadita acerca de Passive Voice para que vengamos listos, it will be fantastic. So my dear class, I am going to see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful night and I will be waiting for you tomorrow for another class. Thank, Thank you. you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye dear bye. class. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.